Good morning, it's Clay Trader at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they unfold live. Market opens up here any second now. We're gonna watch CRUS out of the opening gate, so let's see what happens. Okay, looking to pick up introductory lot of shares at 56.60 here on CRUS, so let's see if it can get down there or not. Well, it's flirting down around that area. And back up above 57 it goes. All right, let's see what else is out there. Okay, at this time I have three different fishing orders out there. If you're not familiar with my screen, uh, you can see those all down in this area of the screen. So various orders all from the short side. So just kind of waiting to see if anything, if I get any nibbles. So I'll do my best to capture the entry point on video, but I mean, I could be looking at one stock and another one gets filled. Um, so I'll do my best, but that's currently the status of things. Got a bunch of bobbers in the water, just uh, seeing if I can get any bites. All right, still a ways off from my 2769 uh, entry here, but it's trying to get through 2750. So we'll see if it can, there we go. So again, 29, or excuse me, 2765, my first entry order here that I would ideally like. So we'll see if it can get up there or not. All right, I'm gonna go to 2779 now based on how it was trading. So we'll see if that was a mistake or not. Looking like it potentially was, as I could have, I could be in right now at 2769. All right, I'm gonna pause it and I'll keep you updated. Okay, I've moved my order up to 2797. I'm gonna put another short order out there at 2825. and also 28.35, so if it can get up through 28, um, hopefully quickly I can uh, get up to a position of 1500, but now it's pulling back on me, so. Hindsight here, I'm not playing this one uh, well, obviously, but, so not the best start to the morning. Not, not a good start. Not a good start, obviously not because I lost money, but because, um, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get way too fancy with this stuff. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. I'll leave those orders out there for now. All right, it's looking like this one wants to get down through uh, 55.50. Well, okay. So I got 200 shares of what I wanted there. So I'll just put a stop loss in there and I'll work this down. So as it works for me, I'm just gonna keep on lowering my stop. Oh, and now I'm long, because it bounced back up so fast. All right, so uh, the main trail, oh. That's very disappointing. I, I, I'll be fully honest and I'm just, like I said, these are always, uh, for those of you that are long time listeners, these are kind of like my video diaries. Don't feel good at all about that one. Um, I'm not from a greedy sense. Of course, I'm happy with, you know, making $93 and I don't know, what was that like 45 seconds? Uh, but because I wanted a thousand shares and I got 200. So, uh, you know, had I gotten uh, the thousand that I wanted, and then I covered at 08, what is that, a 42 cent gain. So instead of $93, I'd have been looking at a $420 win there. Um, and yeah, that is that is frustrating. No doubt about that whatsoever. But uh, oh well, I guess pity party over. Let's uh, see if I can find something else. But <laughs> don't give me, $100, that's great. 93 bucks, that's great, but man. To think that uh, you know, even if I'd gotten half, even if I'd gotten you know 500 shares or 600 shares, but only 200 of that thousand, that one hurt. 
Okay, looking to get shares short here at excellent. So it took, uh, got 20 or 500 shares at 2846 introductory position. Would obviously like more, well not obviously, you might not know that. All right, so it gave me a quick $55. But wanna start that whole process over again if it wants to give me, uh, let me get back in at 2865, that's fine, but I'm certainly not gonna pass down a quick 55 bucks in a matter of, uh, let's see, nine seconds. So you can see from where I got filled to the time I got out was nine seconds. So $55, like I said, nine seconds, not gonna turn that down, uh, but I'd like to try to start the process all over again. First entry at 2865, would ideally like to get more than 500, uh, but I'll just start small there and try to build up. So we'll see what happens. Okay, got through 2850. Let's see if it can get up there to 2865. Again, just my introductory order there. Want more than 500, but I'll start with 500, and if it wants to give me a quick 50 bucks, then I'm not gonna turn that down. But first step is still needs to get up to 2865, so I'll keep the video rolling here a tad longer to see if it can get up there or not. All right, I, this, I may regret this, but the way it's trading, I think I can get 75. So let's go up to 28.75 for my first entry order. Um, like I said, very well could regret that, but based on the level twos and then a couple other things I'm seeing, keep in mind what you see on the screen is not the only thing I'm looking at. I have you know four monitors, so uh, this is a very limited viewpoint of what I'm seeing. So friendly reminder from that point of view. So let's see again, 2875. I know if I, as soon as I, okay, here we go. I was gonna say, as soon as I pause it, I can see myself getting filled and then missing the entry. Okay, looking like I have a good chance here. Excellent, so like I said, I'll take either a quick 50 bucks or if I can build more, that would be fantastic. But I am happy that I went to 28.75 instead. We'll put another order up at 28.95 for 500 more shares. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause it and if it looks like I'm either gonna get out for a profit or if it looks like I'm gonna get up and get those new shares, I will uh, get the video rolling again. This one has really slowed down on me, so I'm just gonna try to get out at 70 now, um, just because uh, the, the movements, it, it's becoming quite a task to even try to you know make, <laughs> well, I, there you go, awesome. So, oh man, I really don't wanna post this video after that one, that made me look like a moron. Well, uh, oh well, so there I go, talk about, uh, Oh, uh, look at that. Oh, all right, let's see what else is out there. Okay, taking, uh, watching PULM. Unfortunately, my broker, uh, Lightspeed, does not have shares to short. I would love to be shorting this one right now, but uh, that's just not the case. So um, I'll try to play it from the long side, uh, but this thing needs a pullback. So I currently have an order at uh, 536. Have an order out to go long on a CRUS too, so keep an eye on those. Uh, but a couple fishing orders out there. Let's see what's going on with SFLY. Um, okay, not quite anything there that's catching my eye. Well, here's CDNS trying to make another move. So let's go up to 29.15 and I'll start that whole process again. Even though the last time I played it, it made me look like a total goofball. But oh well, if it wants to keep on grinding up, I'm gonna keep on nickel and diamond this thing if it's gonna let me. So 20, so many fish bobbers out in the water again. We'll see if I can get any nibbles. Gonna, oh wow, it's almost 10 minutes on the video. So all right, I'm gonna pause it, try to be a little bit more con time conscious here. Daddy, daddy, daddy. I'm making a video. Uh, oh, the, I've got my green line to denote where uh, my entry order's at. Um, so 536, just looking for a pullback there. I'm not sure if the mic's picking that up or not, but yes, my daughters are currently in the office running around, having a good time. 
So I have some trading partners in here at the moment. All right, 29.15, it uh, got up through there. So let's see if it can, uh, got up through there being the, the $29 mark. So we'll see if it can get up and fill me at uh, 15 or not. Not looking so good right now. So I'll go ahead and pause it. While I'm thinking of it, the big question that I always get with these live trade videos, and it makes perfect sense, is, hey, Clay, how are you finding these stocks that you're trading? So what I've done is put together this free resource guide where I'm, I talk about the tools that I am using to find stocks and the, you know, the, the very tools that I use to find the tickers that you saw me trade today. So if you're interested in that, just go ahead and click right there, and I will email you the guide. Very short and to the point, so it's not like it's going to take you weeks to read through it or anything. Um, so it's a good risk versus reward. Risk is you uh, waste a, a couple moments of your time. Uh, the reward is uh, it really helps you out. So again, you can click right there and I will I will email it to you. It's officially 10.01 a.m. Eastern time, so 30 minutes in, up $173. And again, just to keep it real, I don't like that number at all. All I can keep flashing back to is, you know, had I gotten that full 1,000, you know, that would have been, I think, what I said, like a 400, what I've made uh, 42 cents on it. So yeah, $420 uh, win. And then you combine that with the $80. So, I mean, $173 versus a $500 first opening 30 minutes. Yeah, that does sting. But uh, that that's just part of the territory. I mean, um, I realize I sound like a, a little whiny baby right now. But I'm just I'm just let, keeping it real, letting you know the, the voices that are in my head. And, you know, it's, it's normal. But, yeah, you just got to kick them aside and keep on fighting. So uh, that's what I'm going to keep doing. Let's see if I can find at least one more trade. Uh, this is going to be a long video, apparently. Okay, these past 15 minutes is now uh, 10 15. I've been playing with my daughters, <laughs> haven't even been looking at the market, but I do want to try to capture one more trade. Um, still watching PULM, uh, like I said, really, uh, and uh, well worth the cost to just hang out with my daughters. But I mean, you can check out here, price pulled right back to that green line where I would have started to build. And I'm not suggesting that I would have played it perfectly and sold right up here at the top. But the point being, you know, the power of chart strikes again. You can see the price, although not precise and exactly, I think we all agree, essentially hovered right around that green line before eventually heading back upwards. Uh, but, you know, like I said, I missed the trade because I was doing some other things with uh, just taking a break. Uh, but let me try to find one more trade. All right, I'm just going to wrap things up. I can't find anything else. Uh, the, the urge to force something uh, for the video's sake and just kind of for my own frustration, uh, those voices have shown up. Just just trade, Clay, just trade. Just put on, oh, that looks good. And so I'm just going to end it here, and that way I can eliminate the, the whole, you know, force a trade for the sake of making a cool video voice that, that shows up. And unless you make videos on YouTube, uh, you probably can't relate to that voice. But um, I've learned that that is, is another voice that we have up in our heads, uh, the desire to want to make a cool video. So I don't know if this, if this video is cool. I know it made me look like an idiot. Um, but uh, And I know I sounded whiny throughout. But, uh, you know, that, that, that first trade kind of set me down that path. And then a couple other stocks I wanted to short and I couldn't short them. So just, I guess, uh, the anatomy of a whiny um, attitude, you know, a, a, a bad attitude is, is what it really is. So uh, with that being said, wow, 13 minutes. Uh, if you enjoyed the <laughs> if you didn't enjoy the video, I understand. But uh, if you would like me to make more of these videos where I can hopefully do a little bit better, uh, then click that like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, lots of other stuff on it from, you know, other live trade videos to, to quick tip videos to, you know, a good variety. So you can check that out. Uh, if you're interested in trading alongside me and other members um, of the group, you can just go to claytrader.com and check out the inner circle. And then also, if you're curious, you know, how what I'm looking at, uh, how, am I, how am I using these charts and such, uh, you can go to, again, claytrader.com. I offer uh, training courses on that too. So again, uh, thanks for bearing with me. If you're still watching right now at 14 minutes, bless your heart. Um, I appreciate it, and I will see you back next week.